In today's video, I'm going to show you the loot from a thousand blue dragons. I'm going to show you the GP per hour and let you guys know how long it took me and hopefully show you guys how much money that you can make when AFK and blue dragons because they're basically a nice AFK skill that gets you a lot of dragon bones for your prayer gains or decent amount of money. To get started, I did want to take a look at the wiki and show you guys what to expect. And as you can see, it says the hourly profit is going to be 534k for killing blue dragons. And to let you guys know, I did not kill them in the Taverly Dungeon, which is a solid place to kill them. Assuming you have 70 agility, I actually killed them in the Myths Guild in the basement because it's just nice and close to the bank. You can use a cape to teleport and it just makes things way easier if you have Dragon Slayer 2 completed. So that is where I did all my killings. So hopefully I'll be able to show you about how much money per hour you will be making. As far as the drops go, it says the average drop is 5,548k. However, if you're on a Konar task, it does say that they are 6.4k just because of those brimstone keys. As far as the 100% drops go, you get a blue dragon hide and dragon bones every single time, which again, right there is basically your 5k. So that is always nice if you're an Iron Man. Killing blue dragons is a classic way to get your prayer up. Although that said, you can now just AFK mine on Varlamore. As far as the weapons and armor go, you're not really going to make a lot of money out of here. They drop steel plate legs, which aren't worth much. A mithril axe, a steel battle axe, a mithril spear, all of those are really not worth much. But then you do have a couple drops that are worth a little bit, but they're a 1 in 128 with the adamant full helm and mithril kite shield. You're also able to get a rune dagger, which is always a little bit nice to get that nice alcohol in there. They also do drop quite a bit of runes. They love to drop water runes. They drop up to 75 water runes at a 1 in 16 chance, so you'll see those pretty frequently. You also get 15 nature runes, 3 law runes, and 37 fire runes. Super random number, but here we are. Way to go, Jagax. They also drop a decent amount of herbs as well. The drop chance is 1 in 34 to at least see a gum leaf, and they just get more and more rare from there. But I did actually get quite a few herbs, so if you want to bring a herb sack, you can, but don't really recommend it because you'll be probably banking by the time you just get one herb, so it basically take up the same inventory space, so there's really no reason to bring a herb sack, but do whatever floats your boat, right? And then, of course, you have your coins, which they go from 11 coins to 440, so you're not really going to be getting a lot of raw GP here, just enough to be annoying to pick up, so if you have a ring of wealth, highly recommend just bringing that, just so you don't got to run out and pick them up anyway, or just stand on the loot pile for longer than you need to to get smacked by a dragon. Other drops, they drop at Bass, which is nice if you've gotten smacked a few times while picking up loot and Adamant Ore, which is always good because it's a 1k drop. They also have the gem drop table as well, so the usual things on here, you're going to be getting a decent amount of uncut sapphires, everything else I didn't really see very much in general, but you do have a chance to get your shield left half and a dragon spear. The other things that they drop are scaly blue dragon hides, which are absolutely phenomenal for the herb lore gains. This was a fantastic addition to the game, so you don't have to just run around and pick up blue scales. They actually just drop the scaly blue dragon hide, which you're able to turn into blue scales noted, and it makes life way easier. You also have a chance to get insult dragon heads, which I will be doing a video at some point to show you guys how to use those efficiently and how much XP per hour that you can expect from those. So make sure you sub to the channel if you're interested. Also, again, if you're on a Konar task, you will be getting brimstone keys, and they also drop clue scrolls all the time at a 1 in 128 for a hard clue scroll. That is all there is to blue dragons as far as their loot goes, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the loot that I got. All right, so the loot that I got from a thousand blue dragons is 5.47 mil, which basically goes along with what the wiki was saying you were going to get anyway as far as a GP goes, because I was able to kill about 100 of these an hour, so this took me about 10 hours in order to complete. As you can see, a thousand dragon bones and blue dragon hides, and those are going to give you a decent amount of money. That's where your chunk of money is going to be. The dragon bones are worth 3.32 mil, and the dragon hides are worth 1.5 mil, so both of those are basically your giant money getters blue dragons aren't great for other drops in general but they are consistent money makers because both of those two drops are 100 percent guaranteed every single time the other thing that we got is insult dragon heads at 186k we got 675 nature runes we got 12 rune daggers as well as 53k in raw gp we also did get seven narweeds seven aventos six canadines, 21 adamant ores, and 
nine adamant full helms. Everything else here is basically kind of pointless. You can see I did get two brimstone keys. Most of my kills were not on a Konar task, so keep that in mind when you only see two brimstone keys. Basically, I think I did one task here and that was it. I did also end up getting six hard clues. And actually, surprisingly, I juggled my clues for about the last 250 kills. Previously, normally what happens is when I get a drop, I don't feel like doing the clue scroll right there, so I just keep it and then I do it at a later date. However, I got a lot of clue scrolls at the end and then I just started juggling them because I had some extra free time so I could do those clues right away after. So overall, Blue Dragons, again, you're not going to get that wow money that you're going to get from Zora or Vorky or other or Vorkath or any other boss. But Blue Dragons is a solid way to just sit back, relax, and get some kills. It's semi-AFK because you don't really have to pay attention anyway. There's a lot of safe spots around that you guys can use. The Dragon Bones are absolutely phenomenal for Ironmen for your prayer gains, and you get extra money from the Blue Dragon Hides and that crafting XP. For an Iron Man, Blue Dragons are absolutely phenomenal for something that you really don't have to pay attention for, and they are good money and XP in the long run for not really paying attention. That is all I have. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, leave a like for the algorithm. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Let me know how your blue dragons have went. I have killed many, many, many thousands of blue dragons on all of my accounts across Gilinor. Channel memberships are now live, so if you're interested in supporting me directly, make sure you check out channel memberships. They give you chat emotes and chat badges in the live stream, so make sure you check that out. If you enjoy caffeine, make sure you check out Rogue Energy, linked in the description below, and use code ROUND at 20% off at checkout. And again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.